Hey little friends my name is Captain Mar. Welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna continue the series. Right now we gotta basically just talk to Ozia right here. We look at the map. He is right there. So it's the only mission available to us. Only one left. We're gonna do that. We're gonna talk to him, see what he wants from us exactly, see what he needs from us. And uh, afterwards I guess we'll we'll uh, figure out what uh, what's next. So um, I'm pretty excited to play this mystery, uh, this game again. Um, been, I haven't been playing it in a while. Uh, uh, taking a long pause on it. Really, I'm really taking, just like I said last time on my last video, I'm taking my time with this game. Taking my time because you can get pretty bored, uh, boring if you get it, uh, if you finish it too quick or if you play it too much, boys and. I don't know. I feel like you got it. It's the, one of these games you gotta take it slow. So I'm taking it slow. So let's do this. Let's hope it's just like the last video where we're gonna make like 2,500 for one mission only. <laughs> I, it's that was just crazy, boys. I don't know. I don't know why the, that was even a thing. But oh well. Let's go talk to OZ already. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Oh, that's the al alcohol we requisitioned. Uh, all right, we're not gonna keep it, I guess. I later. guess we are gonna just to go ahead and take it back, sell it back, or sure. something. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, we are the shearers after all, so yeah, we should be there. probably doing something so exactly that is legal or that is, is somewhat normal instead of just robbing banks right. and trains every day. I don't know, boys. We got the star, so we must have some kind of uh, duty, uh, I guess, if you want to call it like that. I mean, I'm happy I have the star and everything, but I don't know, boys. I feel like uh, feel like I'm more of a outlaw than a sheriff, but oh well. Going to Bradrate Manor, it looks you like. I oh, sure. don't know why we're going there. We're gonna just sell that to, to the Bradwaites. Why? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, she's at the house. Alright, we're getting escorted too. Yeah, the, it's, she's very well protected. I don't know. Don't they see the my logo, my sign right there, my golden star on my chest? Well, you see I'm a sheriff. It's all fine, boys. You don't need to worry about anything. Come on now. Look at these huge baths. If they are baths, I don't even I don't even think they are bath actually. They look like one. Don't even know why they would be outside. So I doubt it's a bath. Something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? A dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And 
Listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Well, is Next she time, something? All right, she's definitely pissed. Here we go. But uh, at the same time, I mean, she doesn't care. It looks like she doesn't give a shit about that, boys. Looks like uh, she wants to move on from something else. This point, she's just done with the sh with the the DVD. It's just a war between the DVD and the, and her, I guess. It's just crazy. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me at all as well. It's they just crazy. Why, why is there like such a war? I know it's all about family stuff. But they should just give it up already. I know she's into the illegal business and... It's the DBD for Christ, uh, Christ's sake, but I don't know, boys. Feels like uh, it's just some uh, it's just some quarrel from old times, and they just should probably forget about all of it. Because I'm getting caught up in the middle of it, and I don't like it. I don't want to. I don't want none of this. That's for sure. Looks sad. Okay. okay. What is he doing? Why is he giving me that hat? Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What are you? Oh my! Sh I'm sorry. I just killed a man. I just ran over a man, boys, by accident. Oh God! I'm so I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry. Normally I would be wa uh, I would be searched. But now I'm not because it's a mission. It's so funny. I did not mean to do that at all. That was so funny. And why did he put that hat on? The hell did you do? What? Look at me, boys. Just a shame you had to I look ridiculous. Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. The hat doesn't go and the cigar doesn't go at all well with my costume. Oh. It's up to you, I guess. It would be better if you if you were the one doing that, but. Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. I don't like this. This is not going to go well. I remember, I remember when we were with Lenny. And uh, did not especially go well. I don't know. Let's go. Gentlemen. We're just gonna serve. We're just gonna be the bartender now. Gentlemen. For one day, an entire day, That's something. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry. Put old Penton to work. <laughs> Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> All <laughs> day. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your luck. I'll have one, Penton. Pour gla uh, raised glass. Uh, okay. So I'm just pouring liquor. Serve the drink. There we go. I'm just serving drinks. 
Now that's my new, f that's the new game, boys. Switch the game. There we go. My new job, serving drinks, I guess. Long ago, I was an outlaw. I became a sheriff, and now I left all of that away to be a bartender. I'm loving it for some reason. Yo, I'm doing great job right now. Everyone, in, you saw that guy playing pl a piano? Like he's he's out of the of the world right now. He's not even the same world as us. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, I'm not even serving drink probably anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing myself. Probably I'm smoking a little bit too much cigar here. Really now? What do you think you're doing? You're ruining our party. Leave us. Get the hell out of my of my saloon right now. I'm the bartender in here. You don't get the you don't say the rules. I do. You don't you don't belong here, Lemoyne. Get the hell out of my saloon. Here we go. Everybody good? What the hell is going on here? He's still he's still alive? There we go, he's dead. Alright, let's go. Let's just uh, get the hell out of here, I guess. Do something, get the Man, leave us alone. I've got a new gun, it looks like, or it's I'm just using this revolver. It's actually be pretty good. You're good? What do you want? We're good. Why don't I just loot them while I'm at it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not against. Who's this? You're good, you're good. What do you want? You're saying Arthur, help. Maybe I gotta go outside. Maybe he's already outside or something. He's not even outside. Where is he? Like, is he stuck in the... Uh... Is this guy... Ar no. I think he's stuck. I probably gotta go outside right here. Where is he? Return to the saloon. Oh, he's probably on top. You know what? That's right. Yeah, he was probably on the first floor. That's why. Oh my god. Get the... F Holy shit. He probably... Oh yeah, he definitely died right there. You should probably switch costumes. I don't know. What just happened? Good lord. Yo, my friend can catch a break. He gets thrown off balconies uh, and windows for no reason all the, all day. What about this gun right here? I'm coming, I'm coming. There's a revolver right here. Cattleman revolver. Hang on. I want, the re I want the revolver. There we go. Pick up Cattleman revolver. Is that my gun? It's not really my gun. I don't think so at least, but it's gonna do the job. I think we escaped them. I think we're coming off towards the end. I'm gonna tell you right now, you probably missed the chase. Uh, I had to cut it because my video got corrupted. In the middle of the chase, I managed to save the video. Once again, I'm eyes open for these things now. My videos get corrupted all the time for some reason. We've been making money. The chest is filling up again slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. 
On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my... Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Yeah, I'm not about payback. I'm not about revenge. That's just some kid's game right there. You don't need to get revenge on anybody. And uh, I don't know about the old man. Uh, we're gonna go with the old man, actually. We're gonna join John, uh, boys, because I feel like it's gonna need some help more than uh, Ozia. So we're just gonna. Actually, uh, Ozia is the old man, so what am I talking about? No, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna join John, I think. No, just leave me alone for a second there. I don't have time to talk to you. So this is it. Alright, no, we're gonna join Ozia. Never mind. I want to go to the Bradwaite, uh, Bradwaite Manor. I want to go there instead. Uh, I don't want to do anything that involves the sheriffs. Because I feel like I'm doing well with being a sheriff and everything. So I don't want to go uh, off with that right there. I actually want to go with... Uh, the. So Dutch told you to meet with uh, Ozia out in uh, Sean at Great Roman while they're in, in Great Yate they sell himself. Okay. Um, Dutch told you to meet with John, you have heard of the Grey's house, something to do with the Bradway prize horses. No, I'm just gonna go with Bradway Manor. Uh, whatever happens, happens, I guess, but I'm gonna go with the Bradway Manor, uh, everyone. Because I feel like it's the most, it's the better, uh, the best mission, really. That's waiting for me there. Yeah, I should, I'm probably mistaken, but then again, you know, it is what it is. And this guy won't leave me alone. Bill! Is that it? No, is that you? Is that you, Bill? Yeah, I knew it was Bill. Leave me alone, Bill. I don't have time for this. Let me go in here. Maybe I've got uh, a horse that I can retrieve Morgan. There we go. Thank you. There we go. Let's pat him really quick. Show the info. There we go. We're going to... I haven't switched off my main, uh, like my horse for a long time. I'm not wasting money on my horse. I'm telling you right now, it's not even worth it to switch your money on the, your horse. Basically, really not worth it. It doesn't change anything. So I'm just gonna travel there. I'm gonna travel to the Bradwick Manor. I'll see you guys once I'm there. What just happened? We just got ambushed big time. I don't have any guns. Hang on now. Holy! I don't have any guns! No, that's just bullshit, right? They just killed Morgan! My only horse! What is going on here? What do you want with me? What? What just happened? What is this? And who are you, boys? Are you the the main again? What the? I just got ambushed big time. 
Okay, this is not good. And I've got a mission that popped off right before this. Uh, a mission of Dodge. I don't know. Let's revive him. Come on, Morgan. Get back up. I don't know what just happened. Let me just switch my guns. There we go. Get my guns out because this is getting ridiculous. I don't know what just happened there, boys. Carabin repeater. What's the best, really? Luring, no. Bolt action rifle. Actually, I think the bolt action rifle might be better. It's the best uh, uh, option, probably. There you go. I think we're good. I don't know where they come from, came from and why they attacked me. Dutch is in the camp, isn't he? Yeah, he is. What does he want? Why does the uh, mission of him just popped off? Asked you to find out more about the bounty hunters that uh, Trillany mentioned. Bounty hunters, and uh, that that was that's what it was. The, okay, so I gotta b jump by a bunch of bounty hunters. Yeah. I'll do that uh, another time, I guess. Right now, we I want to focus on the Ozia stuff. Now here we are to the Bradwright Manor. I don't, I don't know how it's gonna go exactly. Um, I'm just here to watch over Ozia and John. I believe it's no, it's Sean actually. It's not John. It's uh, Sean that's with him. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Let's go. Uh, let me be. Let me and I. I. I just saw. I don't, I don't have the golden star anymore, which is a shame. I wanted to uh, keep the golden star and everything. Felt like it gave me prestige, but I guess I can't keep it really. Let me go ahead and get uh, the marker off. Here we go. All right, Ozia. Let's see what's going on here. Thank you, uh, Mr. Butler. Sir, that's a nice house. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. So she obviously wants us to rob something. Nope, I'm driving. Fine. I guess I'm the one gonna be uh, that's gonna be driving as well. All right, get in, Sean. Sean is not. Oh, Sean's gonna drive, or is it? No, it's me. It's me driving. Get in, Sean. All You're right, so slow. Kaliga Hall. All right, let's go to Kaliga Hall. Let's see what uh, what's what this is all about. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Born faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook now, you slutty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he's giving his usual planning. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. 
They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> I, I have to hide? I guess I do have to. I didn't press anything, he went on his own, I guess, so I do have to hide. I guess they really don't they really don't like me to in order, in order for me to hide like this. So apparently we need to uh to do a bunch of things. Tap to change artist's point of view. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. Doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Boy. I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> Maybe I should change I my... Mean, I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, What's going on here? He's gonna drive with him? Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get looks there. Looks like an oh, interesting. You, friend, uh, have a drink. Sean. This looks very interesting. Look around. What do you mean, look around? <coughs> what do you mean? Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> what do you mean, look around? Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Where am I supposed to look at? Not as fine as Connemara, but fine look country. around. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Supposed to look for what exactly? Nearly brothers. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to look for, boys. I, I kind of lost right there. Like it's very limited the way I can look. I can only go left, right, or here. right here, Straight I guess. Down the path here. It's getting so I can barely I'm not gonna switch. I'm gonna go back to my usual uh, view. It says I should probably go back, but I'm gonna keep it as the way it is. I don't, I don't see the point of going to the, the first person view. It doesn't help me at all. It blinds my view completely. Right now with another family around here, bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it. I guess when they get off, they go somewhere else. A swift one. I jump on him or excuse me? Or I go. Uh, it's it's one of the other options, I guess. <clears throat> My gun is basically... I don't... Quite a place, you yeah. Take out the guard silently. One of them big houses, uh, out in huh. Real fancy places they want I just gotta exit the wagon? Fancy. If, I, if I just wait for All him money, to go, we should be alright. Do I have to exit? or? Uh, okay, I'm gonna exit. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to take him out silently, I guess. Oh, he's gonna just do it by himself. All right. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. You are. Let's get on with this. Why not the one who was dawdling? Okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. Okay. Let's get the. Yeah, let's hide him for sure. First off. And afterwards, I guess we're gonna get the moonshine and start uh, burning some stuff. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? deal with the fields themselves we coat everything in moonshine and then we light things up with these little fellas here 
Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barb running down out of houses. Burn quietly. Okay. Gotta Wait. burn these fields quietly. Follow Sean. I'll do that. Can't let them uh, see us, I guess. He's the one protecting me, so. Can't let them well um, see us. All sneaking, it's a hundred percent, huh? So, huh. What you got there? Interesting. Is it? Does it work by the way we're getting seen, or, or if we burn, uh, how we burn, uh, how much we burn, basically? I don't. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. Yeah, just do that already. So I can burn the fields. There you go. This guy's dead. You the fields. I meet you. He the fields. Try to stay out of trouble. Got it. There you go. So we're just pouring, just pouring this entire place. That should do it. That should do it. There you go. Just pouring until uh. It's there. They tell me it's enough. There we go. That's good. There's another guy right here. There's oh my god. There's a bunch of guys. Why don't you just kill that one right here, huh? Come on. Where are you, Sean? Sean, man. Jesus. I don't even know where Sean is. Honestly. All right, let's go. Let's pour all of this. Just pouring the entire wall, uh, the entire field. Okay, that's uh, there's only three of them left, I believe. Three or four. Oh god, how am I gonna get there? This is well secured right here. I gotta get in between those guys, which is actually. Let's go now. Let's go now. There I go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Let's go. You got this? How many alcohol, do, how much alcohol do you have in there? There's only so much moonshine you can get for one bo a bottle. It feels like I'm, I've been pouring forever. All right, just one more place. Hopefully I'm not gonna get caught right here. Looks like I'm fine. There's probably more even. Looks like there's another place probably I gotta pour it in. No, we're good. Meet Sean at the barn. Okay. We're only at 41% though, so... I, I don't know. We're gonna get... We're gonna get caught for sure. So many people. Well, at least now we can kill people. We don't have the moonshine bottle anymore to worry about. No, actually, we're not. Let's kill him off. He, uh, uh, Sean's gonna kill him off for me. Here we go. We're good. Or you can just a quick as well. So what do we do here? Oh, we just burned this? Okay, we're just gonna burn this. So I'm just gonna loot this guy really quick. You go, Arthur. Equip fire bottle? Oh, uh, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Give me... Just tap it. Okay, I guess I just have to type it. You just it could have just let me uh, make the wheel and everything. I gotta go. I gotta go. All right, let's go. Oh, all right. We're just burning in everything now. Holy! Not on me! I'm burning myself. What am I doing? I'm burning. Help! Oh my shit! Why don't we just try this again, shall we? This time around, not miss our shot. That would be pretty helpful if we did that, right? Oh my god, we're getting shot at too. What the? 
Why did I, how did I miss my shot exactly? I don't... There we go. Let's just get the bottles. Let's go. Now, why don't we just try to not burn ourselves alive right here? There we go. Take out the uh, Grid's house. Not right now. We got the Grid's gar guards, I guess. And I can't read for some reason. What do you mean where I'm going? Oh my god. Where are they? They're giving you trouble now? Where are they exactly? I don't even see them. Uh, there we go. There's some of them right there. Okay. There we go. There we go. There's some dead right here. They're all dead. Is that all of them? Okay. There's uh, they're from behind now. Reload. Come on! Come on! Come on! And there's one right here. There we go. There's another guy right here. Uh, two of them, actually. Let's go. Come on, man. I'm missing all my shots right now. This revolver has some recoil, which is annoying. Uh, let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here. Oh, the entire field's burning out, so we're good. Okay. Just we just basically have to kill everyone. All right, let's go. Let's go. Where are you at? Jesus. I'm missing all my shots. I'm going to switch guns right here for the, my better one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to shot from everywhere, so I need to be careful here. Right as I'm running into them. It's crazy. We're good here. How many more? Yo, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. Just leave us be already. Jesus. I'm gonna loot really quick while Sean takes care of them. Alright, Sean, I'm coming. Where am I? Come on, my gun. There we go. We're getting, we're getting shot from everywhere. There we go. This, this revolver, this pistol, and so it's not even a revolver, it's a pistol. It's so good. So good. The one I'm using right now. Such a, a good gun, boys. And we can leave. Alright, we're leaving. Uh, check those horses. Oh, God, I gotta study them. Really now? You're heavy. Oh, cut the horses. Oh, okay. I can't I can't go on to him. Okay. There, okay, I can actually go. I was looking to see what I was uh, supposed to do. This is a really nice horse, actually. A heavy horse, but uh, a really nice one nonetheless. I'm gonna run him over. Run him, run them over. There we go, you dead bitch. Let's go. Let's get out. Let's get the hell out of here. This is crazy. Hopefully she she said she had a lot of money. Hopefully she's right. Hopefully she's gonna pay us really good for that one. I mean, from my experience, being an outlaw pays way more than being a, a legal man. So let's see how much it's gonna pay, boys. I'm coming to the camp. Aren't you gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna decline. Later, I got some business. Another job well done, I'd say. Yeah, I'm gonna decline. I never go back with them. I don't know how it works exactly if it's the fast travel thing. So, my take, I think I got your share. Okay, so I got 200. All right, it's uh, it's good enough, I guess. It's better than uh, the usual, yep. but it's not 2,000, that's for sure. <laughs> Can't expect it to be 2,000 every time, I guess. All right, so there it is. I guess now next mission is going to be Dutch. So we're going to leave that be for now, uh, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to just uh, get this, uh, get rid of that. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.